Former Pakistan Army Chief General Kamar Bajwa heckled in, in uh, France while he was with his family. An Afghanistan civilian, we believe, reached uh, where he was seated while he was on vacation. He, the image is showing him with his wife in France enjoying a nice vacation. An Afghanistan civilian reached up to him, started hurling abuses at him. The ex-Pakistan Army Chief was with his wife when this incident took place. In that video, it shows how the Afghani civilian has been abusing uh, Kamar Bajwa and accusing him of human rights violations extensively under his governance. The Afghan civilian accuses a Pakistan Army Chief of a lot more, including misconduct and also helping Taliban loot Afghanistan. Afghan heckler didn't stop there. He went on to warn Kamar Bajwa that he would have bashed him up if at all all cops went around at that spot. He's accused Pakistan's ex-army chief of pushing Afghanistan to fanatics and ordering jihad in his nation, Pakistan. Daugur is more the Pakistan the Pause Mushar Kuni Bajwa Tul Maripona Warkawala was the Taragala the Parupaki Pona Warki Paspinagira. They were Taranas is that Dai Hazada Kalisatana was Kalisana de Mapi Hell, Lurna de Mapi Hell, Kalisatana with Kalisana Raut was the Kalisapa Lukinasta. The Tamishata Police, the police never mopped the Banishu or Dumra Dumra Metabola or Kahar Dumra Metabola. The Tamishata Police. اصلویخ کله دا 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 په افغانستان کې نه دا په افغانستان کې دی نه دا جهاد روا دا جهاد روا دا او خپل لوري سیده سر تور سر ګرځي په نیکر کې ګرځي دلته چې لوري تاسو لیدلې ول ته لوري مور سره وو زوی مور سره وو چې دا زوی تاسو لیدلې ول لوري تاسو لیدلې ول لوري تاسو لیدلې ول چې په نیکر کې ګرځي دا وو سر تور سر دا راځي دا نن په افغانستان کې جهاد پیتوې ور کې جهاد روا دا په افغانستان کې all right, I'm cutting across live to Rita Anwari, an Afghan woman activist who joins us live from Brisbane. Uh, appreciate your time, Rita. Give us an understanding on this, uh, the, the exact uh, allegations that have been leveled against uh, Kabar Bajwa, who is enjoying a vacation in Paris, France with his wife. He's seated on the stairs and an Afghan man hurling expletives at Kamar Bajwa, accusing him of allowing the Taliban to loot Afghanistan and perpetuating crimes like jihad. Oh, well, uh, first of all, thanks for inviting me to discuss about this issue. Uh, the second thing is, I just want to correct the things. The Afghan citizen is not abusing him and is not actually ac accusing him of anything, which is this Afghan citizen bravely talking the truth, which is what happened in Afghanistan. How we don't know, this Afghan young man, he's, he lost his dad on jihad. He believed on the jihad. But look at his daughter uh, dressing her Afi naked with a shorts and walking around in France with not believing anything by name of Allah. And this guy just possibly lost his dad by name of Allah because this way people brainwashed as his dad. So that is how Afghan people believe in Pakistan and jihad will last 40 years and follow them. And when right now, why people that don't actually believe Taliban, they don't believe in religion and what they're talking about because for 40 years they've been betrayed by name of jihad and the other face when we're seeing the, the police, uh, political, all the politician of the Pakistan, they dress up uh, with like Western people, and also they are, um, um, uh, look like, uh, like Western people. They not look like anything like the jihadis or Muslim or anything like that. This is an innocent Afghan asking for his right. And why he has done it to his family, possibly? It's not attack. I'm not sure why we're calling it attack. Well, uh, I'm sure emotions may have been running high. Uh, the Afghan man in Pashto language, we believe, has been insulted. He's insulted Kamar Bajwa and then goes on to say, um, if you could correct me if I'm wrong, but in the language, in the Pashto language, goes on to say, if police wasn't around here, I would have thrashed you. Is that right? Uh, well, that's, that's right because he, possibly he's lost his family. How we know that? If a person is and uh, figure out his face and uh, recognize him. He's the person that's behind of all of this crime, what happened in Afghanistan, which we call war crime. And so he recognized him. Possibly something is behind of that. And if an Afghan man or Afghan woman briefly talking about their rights, 
which has been taken by law 40 years, and especially in their own country by name of Jihad, the woman cannot go to school. They're not, the woman is banned from everything. And they are those ones and claiming that and support these jihadis and their daughters and their wives and their uh, families enjoying in Europe with, wearing uh, short or naked or something and properly dresses. How are we calling a kid like a accuse or abuse? This is a brave man asking for his right. Right. Uh, well, with the, the, this is outright warning to uh, Kamar Bajwa that I'm going to beat you up if the cops weren't around. Uh, we understand your emotion and the Afghan man's emotion, but uh, cannot ignore the fact that he accosted uh, General Bajwa and also threatened to beat him up if the police wasn't around. Uh, but, but let me go with, uh, with your uh, you know, sentiment and emotion here. The man has accused General Bajwa of trying to perpetuate uh, violence in the country of Afghanistan through the Taliban. He says that you have carried out human rights violations and allowed Taliban, the extremist group, to loot the country uh, under your nose. This was under your direction. Give us a sense of the, the sentiments among many of those Afghans uh, who, have, who, have, who have forced to flee the country of Afghanistan post the Taliban takeover. Yeah, this back again, I'm coming back again. This guy is not accusing him. This is he just to speak for a right. He used the right sentence and asked them, the Taliban being supported by him through the military because he was the chief military and he was commanding the Taliban to do what they do. Each missile has been shooting in Afghanistan. Each bullet has been fired in Afghanistan through his, his uh, leadership. He's this, this innocent Afghan man is asking for the right questions. But of course, if, um, uh, if these back in Afghanistan or Pakistan, there will be different conversation. But because this, uh, this innocent Afghan man is asking us the right question and is saying like, uh, we respect for the police on the uh, law of the country. That's why we're not doing anything. We, 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 know, this, we know the, the sentiment question. that you're coming. We know the place that you're coming from. We totally understand um, the emotion right now and the emotion within that Afghan man who may have seen General Bajwa and must have been triggered and badly triggered. Uh, tell us more on, on what really has led to this kind of heightened hatred towards General Bajwa. Uh, my question was to you on, on how in your view or Afghanistan, many of them who have to, uh, forced to flee uh, Afghanistan after Taliban's rule, how has General Bajwa really perpetuated this kind of uh, jihadi activities against, um, the, against the country? Give us a sense and understanding. A few uh, instances, if you could quote for us, to know the gravity uh, of which General Bajwa has been accused of. Yeah, General Bajwa was the head of a chief uh, a military of the Pakistan, which is in the last 40 years, they had directly leadership in the war of Afghanistan. Thousands, not thousands, millions of Afghan soldiers being killed by his leadership. Of course, there's a hatred. We can't deny this one. To this, there's no hatred. And wherever he goes, there's any Afghan good citizen is around there. They're honest for their country. They will ask these questions. Why you do this? and why you are now not following the, the fellowship of the Islam. Because the time where he was in the leadership, he was calling Afghanistan is going under the infilidin. So that's why the jihad is supposed to go to Afghanistan, do the jihad. And so this is the question your own family is enjoying in Europe with the beautiful weather, with wearing a short or uh, some inappropriate non-Islamic clothes. Where is this jihad? This, of course, the hatred has always been there, and right. the question is, will be uh, hopefully one day the court is will be international court will be there, and right. Afghan uh, civilian can ask this questions. Why this what happened? Rita, really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and speaking to us. Let's really hope the families who had, were forced to flee from Afghanistan, the innocent locals after the Taliban takeover, really find some peace. It's really uh, going to be something that it is ingrained in your memory and your emotion. Very hard to shrug that off. Uh, but prayers going out to many of those families who are still coping. Thank you.